Hi, I'm Carissa Major, the General Manager from Claymore Wines in the Clare Valley in South Australia. Joined today by Damon O'Brien, our National Sales Manager, and we're going to have a focus on one of our reserve releases, which is our Black Magic Woman Reserve Cabernet. Now, the first release of this, he wasn't allowed to get his hands on. No. Still but, waiting. <laughs> because it is made in such small quantities. So 2010 was the very first release of the Black Magic Woman, um, followed by 2012, really, really tiny batch, 2014, and now 2015. So it's only in the very best years that we take fruit from a particular site. They're old vine, so they're planted in the 1960s, dry growing, low yielding, really intense fruit concentration and flavour, amazing structure and it's that site that informs our choice and the basis of the Black Magic. The labelling is inspired, as with all of our labels, by the music that ignites the passion of our founder and business owner and the Black Magic Woman actually is labelled in honour of Santana. So guitar virtuoso he would Carlos. be definitely yes okay someone's head banging <laughs> <laughs> um, from Fantastic. the 1970s and he made this song black magic woman an all-time classic yep. and it really is something that we believe the wine in the bottle mirrors and mimics so a glass one for each of us yum and a little of our black magic woman yep so this is all about one of the great noble varietals, obviously uh, a home in Bordeaux. Uh, Cabernet is a, is a grape that works extremely well across most of Australia's wine regions from cool climate right through to some of the warmer sites. I think Clare Valley in particular shows both. We get that beautiful luscious ripeness from lots of sunlight hours, but with our, our cooler, higher altitude site, we get beautiful structure, and it just combines that new world Cabernet with some of those old world structures that you're looking for and then combined with some really beautiful oak, this wine really sings. It's a great example of Claire's terroir. It, it really is. Yeah. And I think it's something that as a region where we're not as recognised for as we should be, oh. I think our Cabernet production is world class, without a doubt. Yep. Um, and it's very highly awarded on the international stage, Clare Valley Cabernet, even though as a percentage of annual output, it's actually quite small. Um, but it comes down to that beautiful natural acidity, gentle tannins that are integrated if you give the wine time. Correct. Yeah. And, and that's what Cabernet is all about. But this still shows up that beautiful dark berry, almost forest for fruits but you can already see some of that, that cedar cigar box sort of character coming yep. through. Really beautiful sort of savoury oh. elemental touch to it because cab can be quite um, sweet, juicy, black currenty cassis fruit. The best cabernet is much more complex and more layered. Mm -hmm. And I think that's got those layers of complexity built into it that deliver that depth so that... Which mm. I think, and this is where we come back to the barrel selection, and a bit of newer oak, a little bit of older oak. Yeah. It's all about balance. Cabernet, yeah. like Pinot Noir to a degree, in, sh in terms of being able to, to create those layers and complexities, yeah. you need balance from, from the first moment. It's got to have the right acid, it's got to have the right tannin, yeah. and you need that, that luscious, but not over, overly fruity fruit element to it ripeness without being over the top and even the colour on that yes is just it, it's dark and it's plummy but it's not over extracted no no it's so. it just and a touch of graininess shows off that beautiful fine grained oak and it's one where we have actually really lavished the wine with some of the best french oak that we can so it deserves it oh, to me the ultimate accolade I can give to a wine is I can drink that right now and enjoy it, mm. but I know that over the next five to ten years that's just going to get more complex and more exciting and is something I want in my cellar, mm. but I almost can't keep it there. <laughs> well, um, to that end, we will toast you with our Black Magic Woman and invite you to experience the same. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Mm.